Hi guys, welcome to winter. Now, winter brings harsh weather conditions, right? Snow, harsh rain, hail, all the elements you get to see during winter. Now, what winter brings is harsh road conditions. Okay, now harsh road conditions means you get the snow with the salt, the mag chloride, the, the sand, right? A lot of these Department of Transportation organizations use these to help lower the freezing temp of the snow and the ice so it's safe for you to drive on the road. But what it doesn't do is help maintain the integrity of, your, of the finish of your vehicle and all the components of your vehicle. So as you can see, the salt mag chloride gets stuck on into the wheel wells, it gets stuck on the paint. Um, and so what we want to do in winter washing is we want to get all of that stuff off, okay? Now, at everyone's house that lives in these winter months, as you know, you have to turn your water off, okay? Now, when you turn your water off, that's because you don't want a broken pipe or a burst pipe or anything. So your ability to wash at your house doesn't exist anymore, okay? So what we need to do is we need to go to a coin wash where they have a boiler system underneath, so you're using warm water and you're using the power of their pressure washer to get all of this stuff off. There's a simple process to winter washing and just a few products that can really help clean your car and maintain it through the winter to make sure it's protected. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So let's get over to the, to the coin wash and we'll get to wash it. So we're at the pay and spray now. And just to be clear, we are here a few days later from when we just shot the intro before this, okay? Um, the reason why is we want the ground to be nice and dry, okay? When it snows, you don't wanna come wash your car when, when there's snow all over the ground, okay? It's gonna sling all the nasty dirt and grime, all the stuff that's on here, it's gonna continue to put that on there, okay? So you wanna wait a few days once the roads are completely dry. And the reason why we're here as well is we wanna use the power of this pressure washer to blast off everything that's on this car, okay? Um, and as you can see, there's there's white all over this thing. That's the road grime, that's the dirt. You know, that's also the magnesium chloride that is stuck on this car. And, and that's the thing that's harmful to your vehicle. So we prepped this vehicle before we got to this point. So it should be very easy to clean this car. So if you haven't seen the winter prep video, make sure you check that out. It helps you understand like how to protect the vehicle. So when we get to this point, it's a lot easier to remove this magnesium chloride and everything. So. First things first, we want to, uh, you know, cl clean the wheels and tires and the fender wells and everything. And then we'll get into rinsing the car, washing it. And, and you know, just to know, we want to bring all of our own stuff. We don't want to use these brushes that, you know, they don't clean on a regular basis. This is Swirl City right here, okay? Let's get into washing. We're going to start with the wheels and tires first. All right, so we went around and we rinsed off all the wheels and tires and also getting into the wheel wells. Really what we want to do is just blast off as much stuff as we can. And honestly, using the, the high pressure of this pressure washer nozzle, it blasts a lot of the nastiness off already, but it doesn't get everything. So we're going to use wheel and tire cleaner. And this is a great product for this process, okay? This combines cleaning the tires and the wheels at the same time. So it's just a little bit more efficient, okay? And, and just so you know, while I was rinsing these off, I popped the hood and I blasted off the engine because we spent some time cleaning the engine in the winter prep uh, process. And so I just want to make sure I get that clean. So blast this down as, as, as good as you can, okay? Just like that. And what I did is I filled this bucket up uh, with the water from, the, uh, from here at the car wash. Um, the water is warm. There's a boiler underneath these. They keep the water warm. That's one huge benefit to washing your vehicle here at these pay and sprays. If you wash at your house and, and you have a north facing driveway, it's gonna stay freezing and, and you could potentially create an ice slick uh, at your house, which does not benefit your family. One thing to think about while you're doing this winter washing at, at this pay and spray is how you're gonna manage the time and usage of water uh, while you're cleaning your car, okay? So you turn the water on, do one side of the car, rinse them off, turn the water off and then do the other side, turn the water back on and rinse it. Uh, the reason why I recommend that is you don't want the wheel and tire cleaner or wheel cleaner to sit on your wheels for too long, okay? You run the risk of them staining, things like that. All right, now we're done rinsing uh, the wheels and tires and the fender wells. Um, but before I wanna turn this water off, I'm gonna pull my bucket out that I'm gonna utilize for washing and I'm gonna get my bucket prep before I start rinsing the rest of the car. All right, so in our bucket, we have two wash pads, okay? We have rinse and coat, which we're gonna use a little bit later. 
And then I have car shampoo and wash and coat. The reason why I have both of these is because these are both great options for washing your car, okay? They both generate a ton of suds, really high lubricity. Um, the only thing is wash and coat adds a little bit of protection. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use wash and coat today, all right? You wanna put the wash and coat onto the wash pad and then wash and coat onto this wash pad. And then what I'm gonna do is put a little bit in the bucket, okay? That's it, that's all I need. So I'm gonna start rinsing the car in the shade first. So I'm gonna start on this side of this sun line, okay? Then I'll make my way back around. And by the time I get back to this part that's in the sun, I'm right at my bucket and I can start washing, okay? So here we go. Look at the ceramic spray coating beating like crazy on the whole surface of the car, on the, on the windows, on the paint, everywhere. That is why you prep your vehicle before you go into winter, okay? This is making washing this car so much easier. While you're using the pressure washer and this hose that has a swivel, swivel above you, make sure you keep it behind you. You don't want this in front of you dragging against your car, okay? It's gonna cause scratches. It's gonna create problems for you in the long run, okay? So make sure you step over it, have it behind you. Okay, so one thing I wanna talk about is how the windshield is a little bit flat. It's sheeting, but it's still somewhat flat. You wanna reinstate the hydrophobic properties with a wash and coat or a rinse and coat or a CS3 so the safe driving continues as you stay in winter, okay? Okay, I'm gonna put the wand away and then we'll get into washing, okay? Now in this bay, uh, there's a clear sun line, okay? Because the sun is beaming in over here. I want to put soap on this part as fast as I can, okay? To eliminate water spotting. Now I don't have a foam gun or a foam cannon to put foam on the whole thing. Uh, to eliminate the water spotting. So what I can do though, is use the soap in this bucket. So I always start in the sunny area first before I move in to the shaded part. Now I washed this section down here, which was really nasty. So I wanna flip my wash pad over before I go up top there, okay? Flipping your wash pad frequently is gonna help reduce the chance of scratching. All right, so we're done cleaning the, the sunny part of the car first. Now I know this wash pad's really nasty. So I, even though I have a grit guard and everything, I don't wanna continue using this on the rest of the car. I wanna save this for, for the really dirty parts of the car, which is you know down at the very, very bottom of the car. So I'm gonna rub this against the grit guard first so I don't forget, okay? And then wring it out. Now I'm gonna go use this to clean the, uh, clean the shaded side of the car, okay? Now, when I get to the very bottom of the car in this section, you know, right near the, the fender wells, that's when I'll come back to this wash pad that I've used already. It doesn't have a lot of dirt in it because I'm utilizing the, the grit guard. But again, I just, I don't want to use something that I put a bunch of dirt into to address the whole car. I'm going to use this as my reference. I'm going to wash the top half of the car first, then I'll come back after I use the grit guard and I'm going to wash the bottom half of the car uh, second, okay? so top half of the car, washing right now. The one thing that's a huge benefit to having a graphene ceramic coated vehicle or graphene ceramic spray coated vehicle is the water behavior and how easy it is to wash. But the really big benefit is it's more resistant to scratching. It is a harder material than even just our regular ceramic, the polysilazane. What that you know, allows me to do is to, to clean this car and not, you know, I have ease of mind that I'm not gonna introduce a bunch of swirls and nasty scratches, but still I wanna take my time and do this the right way. Okay, so I've cleaned the top half of the car. Now what I wanna do is use the grit guard Okay. Get this out. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this wash pad and I'm gonna do the bottom half of the car now, but I, I'm gonna flip the wash pad after I've done half of the vehicle. Right now that I'm on this half of the car, I'm gonna flip the wash pad over, okay? And I'll do the, the, the whole other half of the car and the bottom half.
And again, just to know, I'm, I'm working efficiently. You know, we, people will pull up behind you, wait in line. They want to get their cars clean too, all right? So make sure you work efficiently. You do it in a timely manner and you're being respectful of the paint spray that you're washing at. Now I'm gonna dump my bucket out, but I'm not gonna rinse the wash pads out right now, okay? I'm gonna do that when I get home. Those are things that I can do when I'm at home. I can even do it in my sink if I want, okay? But I don't wanna do it here while people are getting in line and everything. So we're gonna dump the bucket out. Put the wash pads in and we'll put this bucket away. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna rinse the whole car. Then after that, we're gonna add some protection to this thing just to keep the robust protection of the silica and the graphene going, okay? So bucket in, we're gonna start rinsing. We just finished up rinsing the whole car, okay? Now, this car has the graphene ceramic spray coating on it. The water's reacting really well on here. If you don't have graphene ceramic spray coating uh, and you just, you've been using CS3 and things like that, I 100% recommend using a product like Rinse & Coat, okay? Rinse & Coat is a silica-based sealant that when your car is wet like this, you spray this on your car Okay, you let it sit for 15 to 20 seconds. And then when you rinse the car off, it you rinse the car off with a pressure washer, okay? You need to have the pressure, but it will leave that hydrophobic protection on your vehicle, okay? This car is hard to show a little bit, but I'm gonna have B-roll roll right now so you can see the effects of when the car is flat. And then when you spray the rinsing coat on, you can see the water disperses and then when you rinse it off with the pressure washer, it shows a hydrophobic, it's now sealed. That's the reason why you wanna use a washing coat, a rinsing coat, CS3, all throughout winter while you're washing because it will always keep your car protected. Now I'm gonna get this thing rinsed off. We're gonna go pull in the shade so we can dry this off. And then we'll talk about the drying process and then what you need to do after that. All right, so we just pulled the car here into some shade and we were just in that wash bay right there, okay? So what I like to do is find the best shade possible. I'm usually kind of scoping it out when I drive into the facility. This seems like the best spot. We're hidden behind this big building. That's gonna allow me to dry the car, you know, in a reasonable amount of time. Okay, so I have a couple different options here, all right? Today I brought the jumbo plush towel. Uh, the ultra plush towel is a great option as well. I have tire shine. I have detail spray and CS3. This is kind of the, the options you have, okay? So detail spray is our traditional uh, drying aid. You spritz it around the whole car to reduce uh, water spotting, and then it makes you know drying easy. I mean, it's amazing. This has been used for a long time. But CS3 has become a favorite for a drying aid, and it also has the silica protection in it as well. So uh, what I would say is if you have a graphene ceramic coated car, detail spray is a great option. CS3 is great as well, okay? It has that silica protection that's gonna help support your graphene, but also on a car that isn't graphene ceramic coated, this is the perfect thing to use, okay? This is gonna help keep that protection going throughout the winter, especially if you're using wash and coat and rinse and coat. So today, I'm actually gonna use the CS3, just for fun. I mean, I could get away with detail spray, but I think CS3 is the right thing today. So what you wanna do with the CS3 as a drying aid is go and spritz the whole car down, okay? Okay, so I went ahead and I spritzed the whole car down with CS3. Now I'm just gonna keep this in my pocket, okay? We're gonna take the jumbo plush towel and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry the car just like when I was washing. Top half first and then we'll go and do the rest of it, okay? So, all right, so one quick note about the jumbo plush drying towel or the ultra plush drying towel is I see a lot of people using the towel like this, throwing it over, dragging it. I think that works okay, but you know, a tip that Adam taught me was to fold this towel, okay, into different panels, such as this. Okay, and what it allows it to do is absorb more of the water into the towel. 
um, but also it doesn't saturate the towel with the CS3 and water mixture, okay? Once your towel is overly saturated, it's harder to, to get the streaks off, okay? Because it's just spreading the product and water around. When it gets streaky like this, that's, just, that's because the silica in the CS3 is dried. You just take some of the CS3 again, okay? So you just do a little spritz, and then when you wipe this, it comes right off. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I can still see it a little bit over here. So sometimes, you know, you just run out of time. You know, you just have to go through and, and kind of spray your car down one, one last time and keep going. So just a little tip with CS3, okay? All right, so we're done drying the car. Now, one thing I want to note is, as you can see, the water's still pouring out of the mirrors. It's pouring out of this section over here. Unfortunately, these paint sprays don't have air cannons or air cannon juniors available. What we need to do is we're gonna get back home and then we can utilize the air cannon sidekick blaster or air, air, air cannon junior. All right, so we're done washing the car here in winter. Uh, you know, again, just to reiterate, you wanna wash your car in winter when the roads are dry, okay? If, if the roads are still wet or if there's still snow on the ground, your car's just gonna get dirty again. So make sure you're washing your car when the roads are dry. Now, the car looks amazing. We got all the mag chloride off, we cleaned in the fender wells, and we just used a few simple products, okay? But you wanna be efficient with your time when you're in the bay, okay? We wanna be respectful for the people that are coming in to wash behind us, all right? Now, uh, if you have any questions about winter washing, please email us at tips at adamspolishes.com or call us at 866-96500. And look, washing your car in winter and, and doing it consistently is gonna keep your finish looking better longer. When you get into spring, you're gonna be smooth sailing ahead as you go into summer. So thank you guys for watching and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it.